It's time to wrap up our review of Linda's townhouse. We've given three suggestions, one on each floor, of how we think that she could make some real improvements to the design of an already well-designed townhouse. So good for you for buying it. I think it's a good idea. Um, if you're going to be approaching your builder, probably best to take these suggested changes to him before you actually make the purchase, if that's at all possible. You're in a much stronger negotiating position if you do that beforehand. If you've already made put down your down payment, that's not a problem. Go talk to them anyway. None of these are, are going to be particularly expensive. A couple of them will result in a little bit of an, of an add-on because you're doing a few things and adding value and adding cost to that, but really nothing in a major way and really nothing I would expect a good builder would have any problem with doing. Yeah, I think the interesting thing is like with the door location on the upper floor, all we're doing is we're changing the frame location of the door. We're not actually adding square footage, adding an extra door, adding extra framing, any of that sort of stuff. So there shouldn't be a major cost associated with that. With the kitchen renovation... Well, just, just before you get to that, just to think about it, because th these same things could apply to an existing an existing townhouse, in which case that upper level plan, if this was existing, would actually be a little bit more work because really what you're doing is screwing around with the, uh, with the flooring. And yeah, the of course it is easier if it's pre-construction. It's, it's just changing in plan. It's not quite as difficult as if it was a, an already built. That's unit. right. So if you've got one of these, these kinds of townhouses and it's already built, that's a little bit more bother. Not that much, particularly if it's time to change the carpet out. Yeah, absolutely. Now the kitchen. The kitchen. I mean, the interesting thing about the kitchen is we are adding um, more surface area to the counter, so there's going to be some cost to that and more cabinetry. Um, sliding it down uh, in pre-construction shouldn't be that big of a deal because we haven't changed the relative location of any of the plumbing. I mean, that's the big trick with any sort of kitchen or bathroom renovation because they've already costed out all the plumbing and all of that sort of stuff. And if we start moving the sink and moving the dishwasher and all that, it, it's going to affect the cost of that. But we're not really doing that. We're sliding it down. What, about 18 inches at, at most, at which most. would all be within the depth of that cabinet? So, so that shouldn't be an issue. You will pay for an additional cabinet and a little bit more countertop. Yeah. If this was an existing house and you wanted to do that. Then you've got some questions about the flooring because you're going to have to move the island down. And if you've got a hardwood floor or a tile floor, you're going to have to replace the area of the flooring uh, where you've moved that, uh, that island down. And oftentimes it's hard to match the existing flooring, so you may want to redo the flooring in the entire space. So it's a little more challenging if it's an existing house. And the that. reason for that is that typically the, uh, the, the builder will put the kicks the bases of the uh, of the cabinets down, and then they build the flooring to that, and then they put the cabinets on top. So underneath your cabinets, there usually isn't a floor. If you're ever building a house and you're doing an island, just put the, the hardwood all the way down, all the way underneath, and then put it on top, because it'll make our lives, <laughs> or anybody else who's renovating, way easier 20 years from now. Yeah, <laughs> and finally, the lower level is interesting, because what we're actually doing is we're converting unfinished space into finished space. So there is going to be a charge for that, because you're actually taking raw you know, concrete wall, concrete floor, and you're finishing it with drywall, electrical, and all that stuff. So that's the one part of this, uh, this uh, design change that is going to add some square footage cost to the overall construction. Budget. But it adds value, because you're actually you, you're converting that undeveloped space into developed space. It's kind of like redoing your basement. So, so in, in, if you're modest about it and you don't go crazy on all of that, you're actually going to probably find that the value increase is worth more than the cost. So we hope that was helpful to you, Linda. Good luck with your uh, condo purchase. And we're going to be posting all of our um, sketched drawings that we did on the three floor plans onto the site on Facebook. And the next time we're going to start off with another project from you, our viewers. Thank you.